Tony's mod time, it's mod time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. Mod time! Welcome to a special Saturday mod time. We got Maze Plus this morning. It's early. I don't understand it all, but we're going to look through it. Anyway, let's get to it right now. We're going to start off here. This is what we're going to look at today. Here's your mod. Maze Plus. You got the realism add-on for animal grazing as well. Kind of goes with the Maze Plus. Really cool mod. And the animal food add-on. But we're going to go to here. So if you go to Maze Plus, it's going to give you a lot of information here. Well, this is not always the easiest to read in these descriptions, but there's a ton of information. What I'm more interested in is this. You have a readme file right here. So let's go check that out. Here's my English speaking Maze Plus readme file. It is huge. This is a big mod. We're going to go through some of this. I know some people have done some videos already going through uh, some early gameplay with it. This is going to take a while to get used to. I cannot make a video to help you understand Maze Plus in one sitting after it just came out. The purpose of this video is to just give you kind of an idea of what's going on in it. And see if you like it. So we start off. What is Maze Plus? Changes a lot. Global mod with various changes and additions. Making silage and feeding. Fair enough. We, we're familiar with that. Here's your features. Distinction of silage between grass silage, maize silage, and whole crop silage. Additional silage is CCM, silage, brewer's grain, Brewer's grain silage and beet pulp, beet pulp silage. Potato cut has been added and can be added to grass silage before and siling starts are used as an animal feed, which is pretty cool. Sugar beet cut can be added to maize silage before and siling starts as well. So you're going to be adding things to your, your silages. Lots of different combinations in this. Going to take some getting used to. Luprosol, which can be added to CCM during milling, increases your yield, kind of like a silage additive. Grass, maize, and whole crop silage can be baled and is globally added to balers and wrappers. So grass, maize, and whole crop silage can be baled. Very cool. Storage of potatoes and sugar beets in bunker silos, which is a nice little additional realistic feature. Multiple drying stages for making hay. There's four stages. Beating system revised. Obviously, all these new recipes, you're going to be adding stuff to it. Pig food can be made in a feed mixer, which is very cool. I know some people are looking forward to that. Adjusted the quantities and components of animal feeding. So instead of just tea bar giving you 100%, you have to have four categories of food to get 100%. We had additional machines, additional vehicles, selling points, store silos, and three small bunker silos. A lot of new additions. Here's a good picture. Shows a lot of it. Here's your purchasable stuff with your Duke of fo Fodder and Components. You got the different bunker silos, which we will take a look at. Your grass stages, your grain mill, the feeding wagons, the cutter roll, which is cool. The grassland subsoil, which is really cool. You got the truck and the selling points. All kinds of new stuff. Introduction of the hay. We got the mower conditioner. Now, the best part about this Maze Plus and what I'm really happy about is all of this is customizable in-game. Not in menus, but on keybinds. You can make this as realistic or as easy as you like. Grass goes to grass conditioned to grass semi-dry and hay. That is all four steps. You can choose how many stages of TED to produce hay. If you want by pressing Z, you can go from grass fresh to hay. And still do Maze Plus. So you can get all the recipes. Don't have to TED four times. Three times. You can go to Grass Conditioned. You can go to Grass Semi-Dry. All of that is about a button press away to see how much realism you want to do. How many steps you want to do. Fantastic idea. Again, here's your TEDing options. You can go from grass fresh to tether standard. That's just normal. Maze plus, you hit it, grass fresh, you can go to tether condition, to grass condition, to tether, to hay, right? 
all of these processes you can go through. Just again, grass fresh, tether, and you make hay. Very customizable. Here you can see the option without, with or without conditioner. When it's activated, when you're conditioned on your mower, on your mower, fresh grass is skipped and you get grass conditioned directly. So you're skipping a step right there. Now, some mowers, I guess, have conditioners, some do not. So if you want to be realistic, you turn it off when it doesn't, on when it does. But you can, if you want, skip that whole first step. Here's your different stages of grass. Here's grass conditioned with swaths and different colors. We got 49 pages of this stuff. We're going to go through these pretty fast. Again, this is just a first look. What do we got? Here's your different colors. All very well distinguished in their, in their colors. They're not hard to, to tell what the, each one is. And here is what you pick it up with. You cannot put fresh grass in a, in a bunker silo. You can put conditioned, semi-dry. Why would you put hay in there? With a baler, if you go over fresh grass, you get a grass bale. Again, this is all basic, except for this fresh grass. Bale with a wrapper. You pick up grass, you bale it, you get grass silage. Simple as can be. You pick up hay, you're going to get a hay bale. Forage harvester. If you pick up fresh grass, you get grass conditioned. The, the forage harvester looks like it's making grass conditioned. So here it's all grass conditioned. Now, why would you want to go back from grass semi-dry back to grass conditioned? It's up to you. Maybe not pick it up with a forage harvester. Next, we got whole crop silage. Now, this is interesting. Producible at harvest ready. So, if you mow, you get a crop swath, which is from wheat, barley, and oat. If you can mow that, you get a crop swath, which can be picked up or baled. If you do it with a forage harvest, you get whole crop. If you do it with direct disc, whole crop. Pick up a loader wagon. After you mow it, you get a crop swath. Baylor, again, the same. All the same. It matters how you pick things up and how you harvest them. So this end, crop swath and whole crop swath. Whole crop can be tipped in a bunker. And then you can compact that and get whole crop silage. Just like regular silage. Next we have CCM. You take maize, put it in your... CCM mill, you get corn grain grist. You ferment it or wrap it from a bale, which you got to buy in the shop. You get CCM. Here's our Luprasol. You buy it in the shop. Exology additive. It increases yield during milling. So you're going to put maize in the machine. You get corn grist. If you want to use the corn grist, you can. You ferment it. You get CCM. This is your CCM mill. This is the Stade. This is a new piece of equipment. You can switch between CCM or grain grist. You're going to dump in here, put it in there. So this says, from what I can understand, is that once you start putting something in here, it's going to overload. So make sure you have a trailer underneath. We got a mixed grain mill. If the mill is configured as a mixed grain mill, then you can produce grain grist. Filled barley, oats, and wheat to mill grain grist. Grain grist is another recipe. Here's your recipe right here. Grain grist. Feeding changes. This is going to be the big part for most people. You got categories. Animals don't eat the highest production first. Again, there's four food groups. It's not just TMR. And if there's no TMR, they'll go to the next one. Each one is 25%. You need them all. So food consumption is increased. There are small increases because apparently base game, they don't eat that much. Um, 
significant increase in milk, mineral, and slurry output to compensate. So they're going to eat more, but they're going to give you more back. Configurable by the player, which is good. So you got base food, roughage, protein size, protein food, energy food, moisture food, power food, food con feed concentrate, and mineral feed. A lot of different stuff there. This, this is going to be bookmarked. Your base food, grass silage, maize silage, whole crop silage. You're going to need one of those. Roughage, alfalfa hay or hay. Moisture food, potato cut, sugar beet cut, brewer's grain, beet pulp. That's interesting. So now you're going to have to do potatoes or sugar beets for your cows. Power food. Mineral feed, grain grist, canola, soybeans, beet pellets, which is very interesting. You got some extra soybeans, you can throw that in there. But you need one of all four of these to get 100%. Interesting facts over here. Maze Plus enabled. Holstein produced more milk than brown Swiss. First calf produced at 26 months. And then milk doesn't start between 22 and 26 months. Sheep. You're getting your different feed styles for your sheep. Clover silage. Alfalfa silage. Whole crop silage. Now, as far as I know, this is not going to work with all maps because you're not going to have clover and alfalfa on all maps this does not introduce new crops so you're going to need to make whole crop silage for your protein silage and here obviously you either make hay or hay pellets or you could buy this stuff and here again carrots are not on most map but you're going to have fresh maize or potato cut you can make sugar beet cut beet pulp all those there's always something you can make pigs ccm green grass mineral feed beet pellets so it means canola brewer's grain. All this is pretty easy to, to attain, obtain. Horses, I'm skipping horses. I don't do horses. Chickens, you got soybeans, wheat, maize, and sugar beet cut. Pretty easy to get 100% there. Also with this map was the Maze Plus Animal Food Editions. You can put this in on as a, as a mod. It overwrites the settings in Maze Plus. You can edit this to put your own recipes in there. Uh, and use it map independently, it says. So each Maze Plus mod, Animal Food Editions mod you can make separate, put it in each different map, and have different feeding recipes for different maps. Here you go, editing the XMLs. Here's your different four different food groups. Base food roughage, and then here's the different things allowed. So if you have a map that has extra crops, you can add that extra crop to this. Again, customizable options. Awesome. Here's your different mixtures, your weightings. Again, this might not be for everybody, but for those who want to get really deep into it, this is pretty neat. Here's the fresh grass replenishing the sliders. Your feedings. This would be your TMR mixture. Your recipes for your for your feeder wagons. You can change all those. Here's your different recipes. Again, this is not going to be for everybody. It's a realistic mixture. This is the recipe for your feeder wagons. Um, you got min and max values. So silage to make your animal food, your, your TMR per se. This is your recipes. Again, you're going to play around with these, find out the best one for you. Again, here's more of your recipes. Again, customizable because you have a realistic mixture. You have a standard base game type of mixture, straw silage and hay with mineral feed. This is how you can change those around. Obviously, you need base of silage and hay. Straw is not necessary, but you can add it. And play around these. But these are customizable in the game. You can change the recipe while you're playing. You don't have to edit anything. You press a button, and these, mix these recipes will change. Again, here's more of your recipes for your... Beef cattle, they got young stock option. Two more different recipes. 
none of this is necessary. You can play with the with the base game TMR recipe, and it'll work. But if you want to go a little bit deeper, you have the option. Here in the mixer menu, you see. Here's the ability to change the different recipes. Next, we have filtered water. Filtered water is using the recipes. Purchase in the shop. Another little different addition. We got the Doika feedings. These you can purchase. These are going to work with your different recipes. Your pig food, sheep food. You got pellets. You got your grain grist. Here is your tank and your buying station. So if you want to get it in bulk, it's under building container. Put this down. You can drag your new tanker underneath it and load up. There's different Doika feeds and additives. New things they've added. Molasses. Lupersol, that's your uh, booster. And then you got fillable pallet for those things. Carrots and potato pallets. So if you don't have carrots on your map, Obviously, you're going to want, you know, you can use this for your feed. We got silage bales you can purchase, haylage, round bale CCM. So all the stuff that you can make, you can also purchase. Should you wish to not make it, you can purchase it. Again, however you want to play it, the more options, the better I like it. Same with the hay bales, clover bales. So alfalfa and clover, again, if it's not on your map, it's not on a lot of maps, you can buy it. You can still do your recipe and buy extra clover hay from somebody. You got extra bunker silos. They look kind of like the Legos, to be honest. Just got some different bunker silos and a, a manure plate as well comes with this. But here's your extensions and containers. You got smaller and bigger ones. Here's your different extensions. You know, 10,000 liters, 20,000 liters. Here's a look at your silages, your potatoes, and your sugar beets. Again, you're not going to compact these. You're just going to cover them. They're going to be what they are. Here's your silage grass, as normal, fresh maize, whole crop, corn grain, mist, grist, excuse me, beet pulp, and brewer's grain. Brewer's grain you're going to have to purchase, but you can pack. You put the brewer's grain in there. You can pack it. You get BG silage out. Beet pulp, you get BP silage out. Here's the brewer's grain we're talking about. Can only be purchased at the special sales station. Then you put it in your bunker, you ferment it, and it's used for feeding. Same with BP silage. Put the beet pulp in from the cell point, compact it, you get silage. This is sort of in game. We know how to do sugar beet and potato cut. Potato cut's a little bit different, but it's the same process. This is very interesting for me. A lot of times we have grass fields and it says needs plowed. If you're just keeping it as a grass field, you want that extra bonus, but you don't want to plow it up and replant. Now you don't have to. Now it's possible to plow grass years without destroying the fruit, which means the grass. The grassland subsoil was implemented, which also adds fertilization. If you're using precision farming, you get 20 kilograms, which is just basically the minimum. It is recommended to turn field still Fieldstone's off before using this because it's a subcellular. It's going to pull up rocks, stones. Plowing necessary in the game setting must be activated. Again, it's three meters. It's a subcellular. It's going to give you a first stage. It's going to take away that plow notification. Very cool. And it also comes with a cutter roll, which is a mulcher. Next, we got seed. Standard seed. It's DSV, though. So it's branded. And we got general information. Feed mixers, all feed mixers are root and grubbly. So you don't have to add anything to your base game feed mixers. The bale shredders are rewritten globally as well. So now you can use bale shredders to take clover hay and shoot it into your uh, feed pens. This says do not use screenshot mode. I don't use that. I don't know what that is. If you do, put it in the comments. Tell me how that works. But. Maze Plus, as well as the maps, use probably 60 at 64 height types. So that's going to be for 
multi-fruit maps, how that affects that. I'm not sure how that works. That's beyond my cap capabilities, but that's important. So that is Maze Plus. That is a ton of information. I didn't even scratch the surface. I just gave you an overview. What's really going to happen is we're going to have to get in here, play with it. See how it combines with each other. See, because there's so many options. Not everyone's going to play Maze Plus the same. We have different reps, recipes. You're going to use different equipment. You may edit your stuff. I don't know. I'm super excited about this. I think the best part about this whole process is that they made it customizable. 19, you had Maze Plus, and it was what it was. You could edit it, sure. Now, there's features such as the hay or the recipes for your animals that you can modify in-game by yourself with a button press to make it as easy or as hard as you like. That's all I can ask for in a mod is to, to give me options. So Maze Plus is out. Get in there. Tell me what you think of this video. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. I would appreciate it. Go down in the comments. Tell me if I missed anything. Tell me what you want to see. We can always come back and do a second video once we get to playing around with it. Because that's the best way we're going to learn is to get in the game. But leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. But until next time. Tony's my time. It's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony. And these are the mods. My time.